This is Brother Peter Diamond, VaticanCatholic.com. A priest in Alabama named Father Leonard Giardina, who claimed to be a traditional Benedictine monk, recently passed away. At the news of his passing, many who consider themselves traditionalists are praising Giardina. Since he did offer the traditional Latin Mass, and was at least separate from the Vatican II Church, they have been commemorating him as if he was a true traditional Catholic. The truth, however, is that Father Leonard Giardina was not a true Catholic, but unfortunately a complete heretic and an apostate. As documented in our extremely important video called Sedevacantist Priests Who Deny Catholic Salvation Dogma, Giardina believed that souls could be saved in any religion, including Jews who reject Jesus Christ. Many years ago, Brother Michael Diamond paid a visit to Father Leonard Giardina's community, for he was an independent traditionalist who claimed to be a traditional Catholic and a Benedictine. During the visit, Brother Michael was told firsthand that Father Leonard Giardina and his monks did not ever, at least at that time, wear religious habits or collars or identifiable religious-slash-clerical clothing in public, but rather suits and ties. Brother Michael was told that the reason Giardina and his monks did not ever wear religious habits or collars or identifiable religious-slash-clerical garb in public was, according to Father Leonard, that they, quote, did not want to offend Protestants, end quote. A woman who knew Father Leonard Giardina well, named Lil, also informed Brother Michael to the effect that a Protestant woman would bake cookies and or cakes for Father Leonard. In a discussion about the Protestant woman and the dogma outside the church there is no salvation, Father Leonard Giardina told Lil to the effect that, quote, you can't tell me that the nice Protestant woman who bakes cookies for us is going to hell, end quote. This heretical statement coincides with what I heard from Father Leonard in a conversation that I had with him a few years ago. In that conversation, Father Leonard told me that it's possible that Jews who reject Jesus Christ can be saved. The point here is that Father Leonard Giardina was definitely not a true Catholic, but sadly an obstinate and horrible heretic. He and many others like him actually serve as false prophets. They deceive traditionalist-minded people by externals and by the appearance of having a religious community, the priesthood, a Latin mass, etc. Meanwhile, they deny and corrupt the very substance of the gospel and the Catholic faith, the very faith one must have to get to heaven, and they are devoid of supernatural belief in Jesus Christ and his truth. For most people, however, the substance of the faith is not what matters. Externals and the appearance of a community is the key. Most are unfortunately more moved by pictures of supposed religious and habits, or worshipping at the Latin Mass, no matter what those religious or clerics might believe, than they are by material that teaches and instructs on the authentic Catholic faith. This is the reason why the Society of St. Pius X is appealing to so many people. Externals. In a similar way, it's the reason that the apostate Mother Angelica of EWTN was able to achieve such a strong following. Her shallow viewers only cared about seeing her in a full habit, not about what she actually believed. Hence, a priest like Father Leonard was persuasive to many because he had externals, that is, at least within the monastery, and he offered the traditional Mass. He would send out pictures of himself and his monks featured in religious postures within the monastery. This is not a bad thing in itself, of course, but when he and his monks are actually complete heretics, it serves to deceive people. Father Leonard Giardina also publicly and obstinately defended the sinful birth control practice of natural family planning. Since he fostered the appearance of a religious community and of maintaining Catholic tradition, again in externals, Many wrongly concluded that he and his community were a reservoir of the traditional faith. The truth, however, is that he and his community were actually a reservoir of unbelief and externals, devoid of the power and substance of Christ's faith. In truth, they didn't believe in Christ any more than the apostates of the Novus Ordo do. The sad part remains, however, 
that it doesn't matter to most that Giardina and countless others like him do not and did not believe in the necessity of Jesus Christ. He actually didn't even believe in Christ any more than a Protestant or an atheist does. For, as Leo XIII proclaims, he who rejects a divinely revealed truth rejects all faith. We expanded upon this point because while Leonard Giardina isn't necessarily the most prominent example, he is an example of how false traditionalists deceive people through externals while denying the substance of the faith. This is one of the major deceptions today in the quote Catholic world and especially in the traditionalist movement. It's also not a surprise that there is talk that Father Leonard Giardina's successors at the monastery might be trying to put themselves under anti-Pope Benedict XVI. Since Leonard himself was an apostate who admittedly didn't care about what people believed, it's not surprising that he would have allowed into his religious community people who didn't even reject the Vatican II Church. Again, please watch the full video linked in the description for this video. It is extremely important.